Hey everyone, today we're going to be seeing what happens when you drop a chunk of sodium in elephant toothpaste. So the elephant toothpaste reaction has been around for a long time. In fact, recently Mark Rober did the world's largest elephant toothpaste experiment and he filled up a whole pool with elephant's toothpaste. So in this reaction what happens is you use hydrogen peroxide and put a catalyst in it and that catalyst breaks down the hydrogen peroxide into oxygen and water and that oxygen bubbles off in the gas form. And when you put soap in the water then those oxygen bubbles can make actual bubbles that stick around for a while. So in the end you have tiny little bubbles filled with oxygen. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> now, why would I want to put sodium in that? Well, when you put sodium in water, what happens is it creates hydrogen gas. And normally the explosion that happens with fire is due to the hydrogen gas that finally catches on fire and reacts with the air. So today we're going to be seeing what happens when you put sodium in elephant's toothpaste because the sodium will react with the water that's in there to create hydrogen gas and that hydrogen gas can directly react with those oxygen bubbles. So I'm guessing there might be a bigger explosion when we put it in elephant's toothpaste than when we just put it in regular water and when it mixes with air. Okay, first let's get some sodium. Okay, so here's our chunk of sodium. You can see that it doesn't look that shiny. That's because it's created some sodium hydroxide salt on the side of it, because it's had a slow reaction with some water. But you can see that when you cut it, it gets shiny again, but then it quickly oxidizes when it reacts with the water in the air. So here's our chunk of sodium we're gonna be dropping in the elephant toothpaste. First, we'll put our hydrogen peroxide in. This is our sodium hanging right here. A little soap. Put the catalyst in. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, there's still molten sodium in there. Let's give it some more water. Okay, so I think that the soap blocked the reaction because the oxygen wasn't able to mix with the hydrogen and so it didn't really explode. So let's try it without soap now. Put in some hydrogen peroxide. Don't have that much left, so let's see if this actually works. Okay, let's get our bubbles. Okay, there it goes. Three, two, one. Okay, well that was less of an explosion and more of a just, the water got really hot. I've used this glass bowl through many a sodium test and it's never broken, so rest in peace, glass bowl. Whoa! Whoa. Okay, so this was interesting. Actually, when we added the oxygen, it didn't make it explode. It just actually made the water get hotter and the whole system get hotter faster. And the reason for that probably is because the reason that an explosion happens when you throw sodium in water is because it builds up a lot of hydrogen gas before it finally catches fire and then it can explode. But if that hydrogen gas burns quickly as soon as it's coming off of the sodium, you don't get an explosion, but you just kind of get a fire. And then when you add oxygen to it, it can just burn better and so you get a hotter fire. So I think that's what happened here. We didn't really get an explosion. 
And thanks to World of Warships for sponsoring this video. If you like these explosions, you'll love this game. So with World of Warships, you can command a massive naval fleet featuring some of the most iconic war vessels, including the USS Indianapolis. You can unlock new ships as you prepare to dominate the oceans. What's really cool about this game also is how detailed it is. Also, the weather effects make each battle unique and it changes the tactics of the battle. Each ship is very accurate to the real thing so that each battle will make you feel like you're actually there. There's always something new with this game. Each week there are new missions, game updates, and events to keep you entertained for hours. And also coming to the game are submarines. And just like in real life, the submarines will fulfill their role as invisible hunters. Their gameplay will be a little bit different centered around new unique mechanics. So submarines will be rolling out as a special game mode in late 2019, and then it'll be fully integrated into normal gameplay in early 2020. So if you want to check out World of Warships, click the link in my description and use code PLAYLANGLY2019. And if you do that, you'll get 250 doubloons, a million credits, the USS Langley, one port slot, and three days premium time. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you can be notified when my latest video is out. And check out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab subscription box. And check out the link in my description where you can get extreme garage science sold anywhere books are sold. It's my favorite experiments that I've chosen from my channel and put them in book form so you can do them at home. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.